and welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. I can't believe it, there's only one more day left. One more day. As promised, I did every day consecutively until the 23rd, till the 24th, which will be tomorrow. Tomorrow's video will then be my last. I'm very excited. I don't know what I want to do for it yet, but you know, I think I had something written down that I plan on doing, but again, Nothing's worked out the way planned, <laughs> so not really staying with it. Now today I have this book. Now I am a huge fan of um, fairy tales and stuff like that and old folklore. Well, they did actual stuff, not really. Like I love the Disney stuff too, but like I really like reading the um, older version. And I was going through and I was trying to find like the small one, but none of them, not one is small. And I found this one, which I think is all the same one. Okay, it is. So this one is called uh, The Juniper Tree. And I've noticed it had a lot of like sing songy verses that's repeated the whole time. So I'm going to read you that because I think it's really interesting. It says, um, this is this person, the bird sings this. The bird in the juniper tree sings this. I don't know what this tale is. I've never read it before. It's a big book, but it goes, my mother, she killed me. My father, he ate me. My sister Marlene, she made sure to see my bones were all gathered together. Bound nicely in silk, as neat as can be, and laid beneath the juniper tree. Tweet, tweet, what a lovely bird I am. And... That really sticks out to me, because I don't know if you, if you remember one of my earlier vlogs, of the vlog in Connecticut, I think is what I called it, I called, this, I called it the something in Connecticut, because I talked about the movie that I liked, that a lot of people did not like, which was The Haunting in Connecticut, and the movie, not the just weird, The Haunting specials that they have on that channel. And it's like, they talk about poems like that, and there's a couple in there that I just remember, and I don't know why, but it like, just stuck in me. Um, I'll try to remember. I actually know that my, one of my best friends, Michelle, um, apparently her teacher had taught them, like, in the lesson, these poems, so I thought that was really interesting when I told her, like, I love this poem and I don't know why, but there's one, um, they're probably gonna be a little alright, but there's the two that they say in the movie, which is from a collected book words of works that they mentioned in the movie, and the one is, I think, I saw a man up on the stair, he, he wasn't there again, he wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. No, it's something like that. It could be a little bit off for that one. But the one that sticks up in my mind the most is um, the second one they sing, which, like, he repeats over and over again, and the whole, like, it comes, like, it actually comes back in the book. And it's one bright day in the middle of the night. Two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot each other. A deaf policeman, he heard the noise. He came and he killed those two dead boys. And... I love crime like that. I mean, you can tell. I own the complete fairy tales of the road screen. <laughs> like, I love stuff like that. I find it so interesting and so weird. Just, like, it's kind of like philosophy for me where it's like this weird insight into people's minds. And those really stood out to me. And I was like, I was just thinking about them today. And I was just like, why do people love, like, people love stuff like that. It's essentially the Tim Burton-esque world, you know, like, it's happy and it's weirdly sad. And it's, like, it's light, it's like lighthearted misery, I guess you would call it. Yeah, I really like those stories and thought I'd share them with you. So that's what I found. I still think it's really weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again because it's that weird. It's my mother, she killed me. My father, he ate me. My sister Marlene, she made sure to see. My bones were all gathered together. Bound nicely in silk, as neat as can be, and laid beneath the juniper tree. Now I want to read this entire story. <laughs> Cause I'm like, what happened? It reminds me of actually Edgar Allan Poe, um, The Raven. Thus quote the raven, nevermore. How it just repeats over and over again. I mean, I only have five minutes left on my battery, so I don't think I can read the whole thing. I don't know. It's good to know. I've read a lot of these stories, Cat and Mouse. Is this the complete fairy tales? But I don't think it is. Cause I know they've written some that I don't think so. Yeah. There's one called The Virgin Mary's Child, which I'm not 100% sure, but you know it's Christmas, that is, a uh, pretty sure that's Jesus. Um, the Wolf 
and the man, the seven ravens, thumblings travels, Mother Trudy, the godfather. Good movie. Um, the Queen Bee. Oh, that's a short one. I should have just read one of these, but they were short ones. Oh well. I think it's good that I read you what I read you. Because I think that was very interesting. I wish I could find the page, but I did not mark it. <laughs> so, so we have lost the good old pop. Oh no, here it is. My mother, she killed me. My father, he ate me. And I will leave you with that note and see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. Yay!